This here is from Geo News from March 7th, 2024. They're always covering Meghan and Harry every single day, it seems. And this time they say, Prince Harry's future in UK exposed amid King Charles' succession planning. Let's see what we got. And I got one more after this because they write pretty short articles. Experts have just exposed Prince Harry's future in the UK now that succession planning has begun in lieu of King Charles' cancer. All of this has been brought to light by royal commenter and author Tom Quinn. His comments have been made during a candid interview with The Mirror. It began with Mr. Quinn highlighting how hard Prince Harry is finding everything now that the royals are making future plans without him. I can imagine, man. If so, and your family's moving on and making plans without you, you must feel pretty left out. I'm just trying to figure out for myself, in my own mind, how much of this I think is Harry's fault and how much he just kind of fell for the wrong woman. We've seen pictures of Harry real happy before the relationship and after, well, some happiness, but a lot of mixed also. And of course, not only for men, some people just fall for the wrong person. That might have happened. But he's not exactly making great choices to win over opinions and things like that. Mr. Quinn was even quoted saying as a non-working royal, Harry's also no longer a counselor of state and he's not being kept in the loop because there's zero chance he will be asked to help out. William is adamant that he does not want Harry involved in any aspect of succession discussions or in planning for councils of state to help out if and when it becomes necessary. And as next in line, what William wants, William gets. Yep, that makes sense to me. Looks like the future will be William making a lot of decisions for Harry and for the family. I guess that's what they mean by Prince Harry's future in UK exposed. Then they got... Prince Harry reached out to Prince William before UK trip to meet King Charles. Prince Harry repeatedly reached out to Prince William before he embarked on a long flight to see King Charles as his cancer diagnosis came. I'm wondering how they know that. It's not like William's got a public cell phone where everyone can see every number he dials and things. The Duke made a 24-hour trip to the UK as his father's cancer diagnosis came. However, he could only spend 30 minutes with Charles before the King left for Sandringham which I'm probably saying wrong. Someone please correct me. Let's move on. During his meeting with dad, Queen Camilla also remained present. Harry didn't meet with the Prince of Wales or Princess Kate, who'd gone through a serious abdominal surgery not long before and is still recovering. Okay, so People Magazine says that Harry contacted his brother. Well, if you've been following me, you probably know People's not a very reliable source. They print anything they can. They've defended Amber quite a bit. I'm sure they don't like Manson. They're not really out for good, balanced news and facts. So take that with a grain of salt. And they quote a source from people saying, it will be the normal run of things to go and see your sister-in-law who's had a serious operation and also see your niece and nephews. But it isn't normal. It's terribly sad, a source told people. It is kind of sad, not for nothing. So that's the news. They should have said... Harry's probable future exposed, but I guess close enough. I see what they're saying. He won't be calling shots. He's, I guess, kind of the family outcast right now. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.